This is the main assembly hall at the British Aircraft Corporation's Hilton Works, where, in a year or so, the British assembly line for the Anglo-French Concorde supersonic airliner will be set up. My name is Godfrey Orte, and I am Chief Test Pilot at BAC's Hilton Division. It was my privilege to pilot the 221 on its first flight, and I should like to tell you something about the occasion and about the aircraft itself. The 221 is a slender delta research aircraft built by BAC at Filton for the British Ministry of Aviation. It was originally the Fairy Delta II, which in 1956 set a new world's airspeed record at 1132 miles per hour. To give it a new lease of life as a research aircraft, the 221 has been extensively redesigned and almost completely rebuilt. It has been given a new slender OG wing, an auto stabilization system, and the fuselage has been extended by six feet. New air intakes and a new undercarriage have been fitted and the aircraft has increased fuel tankage and redesigned systems. The 221 has been specially equipped and instrumented for use by the Royal Aircraft Establishment in a basic research program. Before the flight, we did several taxi runs at increasing speeds to check the aircraft's ground handling and control. These preparations are in readiness for the final fast taxi before the aeroplane makes its first flight. the aircraft accelerated to 120 knots, at which point the throttle was closed, the brake parachute was streamed and the wheel brakes applied. I am able to report that everything is satisfactory and we are ready to fly. As the aircraft taxes back, a few words about the 221's research program. What is the object? Basically, to back up the extensive wind tunnel and other ground research into the behavior of a slender delta wing. The 221 will establish in flight the aerodynamic properties of this type of wing and study its control, stability, and handling characteristics over a wide speed range, subsonic, transonic, and supersonic. Because the 221's wing plan form is basically similar to that of the Concorde, there will be a read across from the 221 program to Concorde development. At last, the moment a lot of people at Fulton have been waiting for, including myself, is here. brakes off and we're away.
The Hunter Chase aircraft and the photographic meter were in close attendance. This brief air-to-air -air glimpse shows the characteristic OG wing. During the short 23-minute flight, BAC-221 handled well, rather better in fact than the ground simulator would have led one to expect. With undercarriage load, we're now on the letdown for the final approach to land. the men who have helped to build the 221 and to prepare it for flight. And of course, back to the inevitable question, how did it go? To which one could reply quite truthfully, a very pleasant flight. This was the beginning of a research program which, we are confident, will help to establish the excellent flight properties of the slender delta wing and confirm that it is the correct choice for the Concord.